the coast is never finally saved. It's always being saved. And the greatest threat to the future of our environment, I think, is ignorance and apathy. Well, our uh, relationship with the uh, Orange County Coast Keeper started with a lawsuit. They sued the Irvine Company, and, uh, but from there, things improved. Gary and Coast Keeper has actually sued our corporation, and I'm proud to say that at the end, that lawsuit made the development a much higher quality of life that we can all enjoy for the future generations. The biggest challenge is just the fact that we've spent an entire generation building the urban landscape without paying much attention to what was going to happen to the quality of the water as a result of that. And so now we're trying to change course and overcome that. And it's just been an entire generation of building an area for three million people to live uh, without thinking in advance of how that would affect the beaches and the water quality at the beaches. We obviously have a lot of people that are looking over our shoulders trying to make sure that we're doing the best job that we can do. And uh, we have a lot of environmental organizations who pay attention to uh, whether we're doing enough and advocate for us to do more. In particular, in Orange County, Coast Keeper is one of those organizations that has been most active. And, and even though they're watching us to make sure we do enough, our relationship has always been very productive and not really adversarial because they focus on, on getting things done. They're very practical-minded and collaborative and they always bring good ideas to the table and are willing to, to be a reality check for us and, and um, you know, make sure that we stay on track. And so we actually really enjoy working with them. Yes, I think that Coast Keepers is the organization that is looking to what our oceans will be in the next even 20 years. And the work that Coast Keepers is doing is absolutely essential if we're going to have an outcome that is positive instead of negative. And what would California be without its coastline? We would not have the visitors that we have every year to the beaches. The beaches right here in Huntington Beach have 11 million visitors a year. And so if we have to start closing those beaches, then we have destroyed the economy of the state of California. So the work we do is the work that will make sure that that doesn't happen. Many of the things that are happening in this world have their beginnings because of corporate decisions. Well, Gary Brown is able to sit down at the board table as well as to sit down with a group of environmentalists. And it's his position is we resolve problems. We don't make enemies. We don't work in a very destructive environment, but we work together to make sure that we solve problems and not just talk about them. Well, our uh, relationship with the uh, Orange County Coast Keeper started with a lawsuit. They sued the Irvine Company, and, uh, but from there, things improved uh, to the extent that uh, you know, we really view uh, the uh, Orange County Coast Keeper really as a resource, as uh, really a, in, in some ways um, as a technical resource and um, a, you know, a, an organization that we can go through and get their input and make sure uh, that our projects really are up to snuff. And they're kind of a quality check. They're an organization that has uh, you know, a lot of knowledge about water quality and also they do their homework. And so they do a very good job about you know, making sure our, our projects really uh, work out real well from a water quality standpoint. We're, we're standing in the uh, Crystal Cove project up uh, on Pacific Ridge, which is the very top of the Crystal Cove project. And uh, behind me is a retention basin uh, where stormwater is trapped and uh, sl slowly released down through, through the uh, 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 watershed be below us and down through the ocean. And above us over here is a uh, wetlands area where uh, the first flush and the low flows are filtered uh, and cleaned up before they're released in the environment. In our latest project, uh, we're taking rainwater uh, one, and we uh, uh, are taking the first 1.2 inches of rainfall, putting it into cisterns, uh, over a million gallon cisterns, and taking that water and recycling it. 
and reusing it on the golf course so so that that water doesn't ever uh, reach the ocean and you know Coast Keepers was very instrumental in getting us to you know do that. Orange County Coast Keeper has two things that are important one they have credibility and secondly in, in part because of that credibility they're invited to the table so whether it's a table of uh, environmental groups or a table of regulators or a table table of municipalities who are regulated Orange County Coast Keeper is there and expected to be there and they give a good perspective and dialogue and almost kind of serve as the a unifying force to understand in some part the needs of municipalities in some part the needs of, of the regulators and certainly the needs of the environmental community I am hopeful for the future and I'm hopeful every time I see kids learning about clean water and kids learning about what's underneath the, the surface here, the fish, the, the, uh, the other sea life that um, they know that they can, go, they can learn something to, and go home and change behaviors and sometimes change their parents' behaviors to make sure that the next time they come to the beach or the next time they come to the bay that it's even cleaner. And we are making progress. It's slow progress but it's being made. One of the greatest challenges to our marine environment is trying to keep it clean, trying to lower down the polluting, and trying, um, trying to educate, educate people about the, what it does, what people do to Back Bay and what are the wetlands. I'm, I'm hoping that like, with groups like this, we can hopefully conserve the environment and help preserve it for future generations to enjoy it as much as I do. One thing I appreciate about Orange County Coast Keeper is their desire to get it right, to develop a firm scientific foundation for the advocacy that they do. It's not a matter of just beating on the table, it's a matter of having the information on which you are basing your advocacy. They seem to do a good job of that. You know, it's an interesting world out there. Uh, you run into many wonderful, talented people. You run into some characters. And in Gary Brown and the leadership of, and his personal leadership of the Orange County Coast Keeper, you have a talented character who knows how to talk, he knows how to carry a stick, he knows how to swing the stick. And I personally have seen him swing the stick. Unfortunately, it was at my head when he wanted to preserve a wetland that was a part of this overall waterfront development. In the end, we decided, you know what? It was better to keep that wetland and not only keep it, but to enhance it. So we spent over $700,000 taking a seven-tenths of an acre wetland, expanding it to three and a half acres. And that's what you see at the corner of Beach Boulevard and Pacific View Drive, is this three and a half acre wetland, which would not have been possible without Gary and Coast Keepers' involvement. The Orange County Coast Keeper has made an incredible difference in terms of becoming actively involved in issues that affect the well-being of our marine environment, as well as educating people, young and old, about the importance of what they do that affects the marine environment. The Coast Keeper is a critical catalyst in making a difference for the future of our coast. And I've been proud to be associated with the Orange County Coast Keeper, with Gary Brown, with all of the the people that I've met in the course of my work with the Coastal Commission uh, who have dedicated so much of their lives to improving the quality of our marine environment, not just the water, but the coast. Of all the organizations that we work with, Orange County Coast Keeper is one of the most productive for us to work with. And they do, uh, in, in my opinion, make very effective use of all the resources that they have. They're always keeping their eye on the ball and doing the right things and certainly I personally support them and hope that everyone would. Everyone has to take responsibility. Every human being on this earth has a responsibility to make sure that they either have a hand in improving their environment or that their own personal lives are given to making sure that what they do does not harm the environment around them. If we pay attention and if we make an effort to improve the way that we impact, interact with the environment, we in one generation can make a difference. We can turn it around. We did it with the brown pelican. It was done with the gray whale. It's been done with other species. It was done with ozone, the ozone hole uh, there. It can be done with the planet if we commit ourselves to making a difference. But that means activism. That means we have to get involved.